Executive Mosaic is excited to announce that Vincent DeFranza, Executive Vice President of SAIC's Air Force, Combatant Commands and Department of Defense Agency Business Unit, has earned a 2024 WASH 100 Award for progressing key technology projects while advocating for talent development. CoreForce has appointed Mike Morehouse, a co-founder of the company, as its new CEO. General Dynamics Mission Systems will perform ship design agent and lifecycle sustainment services under a potential $92.6 million contract from the U.S. Navy. Christina Cook, a 14-year Palantir Technologies veteran, has been named Chief Revenue Officer at Space Security and Sustainability Startup True Anomaly. Intel has unveiled a financial reporting structure as part of its move to a foundry operating model meant to improve transparency, growth and accountability across the business. Lacey Wien, Autonomy and Robotics Technology Program Executive at Kerasoft, said drones have become important tools for the public safety community by serving as first responders and supporting search and rescue missions and accident investigations. The U.S. Air Force has concluded the initial operational test and evaluation of an electronic warfare system developed by BAE for the F-15E Strike Eagle and F-15E X-Eagle II aircraft. Scott Howell, former commander of the Joint Special Operations Command, has joined Periton's advisory board. Hughes Network Systems, an EchoStar company, has secured approval from Utilsat OneWeb to operate its electronically steerable antenna-based device in the latter's low-Earth orbit satellite network. Felicity Space, a developer of fusion power for in-space propulsion and power technology, has announced securing an investment from Lockheed Martin Ventures.